Phillies third base coach Juan Samuel joins us uh, down at the dugout. All right, Sammy, I got to ask you real quick. Uh, the other night, uh, the Phillies had a runner thrown out at home plate. And we were talking up here that it was a great move on your part just to try to initiate the action. When the offense struggles, does that creep into your head a little bit too? Oh. All right, I'm going to try to get something going here. Of course, I'm always thinking this situation. We're not scoring a run. It looked like it's going to be a very close ball game. So with two outs, you know, we got to try to take as many chances as we can. As you guys know, we, we, we're not really scoring a whole lot of runs. So uh, just trying to get things going. Uh, Juan, what about uh, with Goodell? In sprint training, we saw him in left field the whole time. So far this year, he's played a lot of left field. <laughs> has he been doing a pretty good job in right field? Has he been working a lot extra in, in right? Yeah, of course, uh, Matt, you know, it's, it's completely different over there. The ball come off the bat differently. So we, he's taken a, a lot of reps out there in right field and in left field also. Also, uh, uh, Peter Borges is doing the same thing with Jimmy Paredes is now on the club. You never know these guys are going to play. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy, we've seen uh, Odubel Herrera make a few errors on ground balls this and I know you're trying to address it. What is the one thing you want him to do better with the ground balls up the middle? I just wanted to continue to come charge balls. I think at times he's a little bit timid and, and laying back on balls instead of reading that happen coming through the ball. Well and that's something that he talked about too Sammy is, is trying to because he he even said when we asked him about it he's not sure why he was bobbling all those baseballs. <laughs> I know T and I told him I thought he used to play second base. What's going on. <laughs> <laughs> But you know we just got to continue to work with them you know make him understand hey you got to come through the ball you know you, you, we cannot uh, play the game that way thinking that I don't want to make mistake we have to go after it. You made that adjustment though too from the infield to the outfield so you can kind of give him a little insight on you know even your thoughts on doing that too. Of course I mean it's not easy especially you know with him this is his only second year here. I, I think at time we forget that hey, these guys are young and, and they're trying to get better. Well, well Sammy Listell is coming up now after the walk is over. Excuse me, Ben. Sorry about that. Sure. To Sammy, Odubel Herrera, I, I love the way he plays. Is, is the sky the limit for him? Of course. With enthusiasm that he brings, he's very aggressive. And, and this year we've seen him being a little bit more disciplined. Who knows where this guy is going to be? The other thing, too, is he was just umpiring out in center field, too, Sammy. So he's an umpire as well. <laughs> he could do it all. Yeah. <laughs> Here is Tommy Listella. He takes the strike. It's I, I, I thought maybe he was throwing his hands up saying, okay, where is Sammy? He's supposed to tell me go left or right. <laughs> he might be looking for me, T. <laughs> you, you know, the one thing I'd like to ask is that you've been around the game for so long. Has Michael Franco picked your brain a little bit towards not just defense, but maybe the type of approach that he's to change a little bit? Hitting wise to sit, start sitting on certain pitches. Of course, uh, Hendo and I are being teaming up on him at times just to make him understand. Listen, each club has a guy or two that the opposing team don't want him to beat, and you, you're this guy here. He wants to hit so bad. I tell him we understand that, but maybe they don't want you to hit. There's a ground ball through the hole on the right side. Zobers will go to third. Little hit and run by the Cubs that puts runners on first and third with nobody outs. And it will bring Miguel Montero to the plates. Montero so far is 0 for 1. He struck out uh, his first time up. Sammy, do you like the fact that uh, a lot of these players are looking up to you and asking your advice on things like that? I love it. I love teaching. You know, that's, uh, I, you know, somebody helped me uh, to become the player that I was. Uh, and and uh, I'm just trying to pass it on. And, and having these guys come up to, to me and, and some of the other guys is outstanding. That's what we're here for. All right, hey, we're going to let you go. We appreciate it as always, and we will uh, chat with you again. All right, guys, thank you. All right, that's Juan Thanks, Samuel, the Phillies' third base coach. The Phillies uh, watched the Cubs put runners on first and third.